Hey, it's John with Flutterverk. I'm gonna show you how you can do this in 30 minutes or less. Can you do that with traditional sandbags? This is the utility kit by Flutterverk. The utility kit consists of five equivalent sandbags, three defender bags, two boom bags, and 10 feet of the flood screen. This kit is perfect for the homeowner. Small, lightweight, compact, and as I said, contains five equivalent sandbags. From the traditional sandbags, you'd have to keep those in the trunk of your car, garage, crawl space, drag them out if they stay together to deploy them. This product is easily deployed and quickly, which is what I'm gonna show you next. The flood screen comes pre-taped. Along the top to attach to your structure, we get additional tape for the sides and the bottom of the skirt. And we'll show that in a minute once it's attached to your structure. I'm cutting this 10 foot section of flood screen in half by two five foot sections. This would work for your average residential main entryway door. And you could use that for two of them. You have a 36 inch door. We'll have an extra foot of flood screen protection on either side plenty of anchor space for the bags. So this is five feet. I'm use, utilizing the other half. I'm gonna attach to this entrance door. I will then show you how we fill the bags and deploy the bags. So the flood screen already comes pre-taped on the top. I am taking the extra tape provided in the kit. And without even measuring, I'm just gonna lay it out attach it to the back of the screen and cut it in place. And it does not hurt if you have any extra tape that you're not gonna use, if you're not gonna use the other half, you can add that to the bottom. Even though we're putting at, uh, bags, it doesn't hurt to have a little additional tape on the bottom. So you pick up the flood screen. Center it on your door, even in the wind. We want to make sure that we tuck it very tight to where the crevices and entryways are into your door. As you can see, that tape sits very tight. Once attached, we're now going to peel the sides. Make sure it's all tight. It's tight to the structure. So the dash line is the recommended fold line for when you are folding it along the ground and where you are actually going to lay your bags. And I'm going to pull up that bottom piece of tape. Once I get this set exactly where I want it. So we've attached the flood screen. Now it's ready to get the bags out. I'm gonna use the boom bags for this demonstration that come in the utility kit. There are two boom bags with the utility kit. I am going to take one bag 
in the bin, because there are two different ways you can fill these bags. In a bin filled with water, I already had approximately three and a half to four inches of water. This is one way customers like to do the filling. The second, I'm gonna lay the bag right in front of the entrance and just hose it down. Both methods work. The method with the hose requires no lifting whatsoever. So if 45 pounds is still too heavy for you, you don't have to lift them to fill the bags. So now I'm adding the second boom bag. Making sure I anchor both sides. A couple different variations of how you install. Lay the bags out. Here I'm putting the Defender bags as the base layer. And then top off with the boom bags. I like that variation myself. Now we're done. The entire utility kit has been, has been installed and your door has been protected and sealed. All of this came in this small kit that you were storing on the shelf in your closet or under your bed. And we still have an additional five feet of screen left for your next flood event. Visit floodavert.com and purchase your kit today.